What's up guys, it is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com doing some more DLC in Assassin's Creed 2. We are doing uh, Bonfire of the Vanities. This is Memory 13, I think. So you're going to tell us all about the achievements in this? Totally! Um, wait a minute, hey, there's no <laughs> achievements in this. So and why, go why did they release this deal? How much did this thing cost? Uh, I'll, it shows right here. I want to, uh, I'll show you where I could get it, and then it's 320 That's not too bad. That's what, five bucks, I think? Uh, something like that. Something like that. So as soon as you uh, start up, well... Four bucks. Four bucks? I think. Okay, well, as soon as you start up your, your game, I had just beaten uh, DNA Sequence 12, and so as soon as I start up after I download 13, I immediately walk into it. And so, oh, that's pretty cool. Here's the very beginning. Here I am sneaking past these guard dudes with these monks, just being really quiet, and there we go. That's how you get past those guys. Instead of starting a big old fight, and then you're going to go uh, talk to Machiavelli. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You guys are bros. We're, we're total. We're BFFs. Nice. And so he goes, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of dudes you need to go kill, and then you can go kill the last guy. Blah, 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 blah. Machiavelli's kind of ruthless, dude. <laughs> so uh, you're going to run around, and you got to, or after you talk to him, you got to help fight him, fight some dudes, and then go, and he'll be like, I'm going to be in this house while you go kick some ass. And, and then go. that's when you get the achievements? <sighs> no, no achievements. So uh, and it, so this is this is all in Florence. This is the south part of Florence. And I'm going to highlight a few of the... Uh, there's nine different guys you have to kill. I'm going to highlight some of them. This is the one on the church. And uh, you can kind of follow along see what I did. So I killed the two guys up front. Doesn't seem like that should kill that guy. Well, he fell pretty far. And also, I have I have stabby knives in my hand. Oh, yeah? So I stab him in the gut so as it, I throw him. As a stab pull? Yeah, stab pull. Yeah. Stab pull? <laughs> I'd say uh, Olympic event. I don't not know if you know that. Stab pull? Stab pull. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that's not the Winter Olympics, though, right? No. Okay. It's the Murder so, Olympics. I kill those guys all on the side, then I'm going to kill this dude. Stab pull. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and there's one more guy up on this middle roof area. I'm going to kill him, too, just in case. I probably could have gotten past without killing him, but... You know, this is one of those things where you have to do it stealthy, like yeah. you can't be seen. The, I think about half of them are are where you have to do it without being seen at all. So um, you have to be real careful. And there's this monk dude, and you got to wait for the archers to get on the other side of the building. And then I'm still sitting there, and then I get to sneak up and then stab the monk. Boy, that monk should have hired better archers. <laughs> yeah. No, no one bothered. You know, hanging out with him the whole time, just going around. We're going to go see what's going on on the other side of the building and leave you <laughs> alone and unprotected. I'm sure you'll be fine. Totally. So here's another one. This is another tricky one. This is the boat one. This is another uh, can't be seen. You, you watch me play this. I thought this was going to make you cry. Dude. You tried this at least 140 times. Uh, so uh, you got to kill that dude first on the, um, on the whatever, the, not the beach. What is that called? Planks? Dock? There, there you go. go. On the dock. And then <laughs> we, I accidentally tripped this guy. For some reason, he was on the boat, and then he chased me off the boat, and I killed him. And then on the back of the boat, you're going to kill these two guys. There's this guy, and then the other one's walking down now, but we're going to wait for him to come back up. It's weird. I thought it was really courteous of these guys to die silently. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> Not put up a fight. They had, like, two seconds of falling that they could have, like, sounded the alarm. But instead, they were like, I'm going to go into the night quietly. Yeah. So I double-killed those two guys while the other guy on the bottom wasn't looking, and then... The thing, the dude I need to kill is right there. So I'm gonna climb up and then jump on his head with my swords Oop. or knife, knife, arm thingies. That's what <laughs> they call them back in the Renaissance. So knife th arm things. This one, this one was kind of cool. This is basically you got to kill like 50 dudes and then your final guy is that dude that I stabbed in the chest. Um, for that one, what I did was it got to a really, really high point in the level, and then that way the archers kind of hit me, oh, and okay. they would follow me up. So all I got to do is just keep stabbing people. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, this one I had a little issue with. This is another don't be seen. Um, this is where you have to kill the farmer. And so first I went down here, stabbed this guy, and then there's a bale of hay that you want to hide in. And really what I did is I, I hid in this bale of hay the whole damn time. And, um, and eventually the farmer dude's got to walk right past me and I can kill him. Why yeah. you got to kill a farmer? Well, he had it coming. Oh, dude, you just pulled him in the hay with you. Yeah. That you guys going to go for a romp in the hay? <laughs> so this dude with the pole, this is lucky, because look, the guy with the pole starts sticking me, and then his friend just completely ignores the fact that he got murdered. <laughs> and then here's the dude. Maybe they aren't exactly friends. I guess not. So there he is, and I'm like, That's hey, your farmer peek. right there? Sp stab. Yep, that was the bad guy. Dude, he must have had a bad crop or something. Yeah. So the, the first DLC they had for this game was uh, very much about just running around killing a whole crap load of people. This one is all about being stealthy. So just keep that in mind, if you, whichever kind of gameplay you like. So, so um, what are we doing here? This one is you have to kill a doctor. Uh huh. And what I did is I hired these thieves to go basically distract everyone. And then as soon as everyone was distracted, I just walked up and I said, Hey, Mr. Doctor, give me... Oh, stabby. To the gut. That dude needs a doctor. Yep. And so once you kill all nine of them, you're going to go find this monk with the four fingers and he stole your apple. <laughs> and then you got you to throw... Everybody him. cheers about the apple. Yeah, like, hey, my apple. And then I hit him in the hand. And then they pick him up. Then you got to chase down the dude who grabs the apple, kill him, get your apple back, 
and then um, then you go watch the dude catch fire. <laughs> do you eat the apple at some point? No, no, the apple is like special apple. Is so, uh, uh, once you rescue the apple, do you get the achievement? Oh, face stab! Oh, snap! No achievements, no achievements, and then you give a speech, and then your team goes wins the 1980 Olympics versus <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, no. Ezio, we don't understand. And see, this is like very much like Gordon Bombay at the end of Mighty Ducks. And then Uncle Mario's like, you did a good job, but you don't get achievements for it. And you know what, though? I understand. I'm going to give you a Jeff achievement because oh. you did a good job. How many, how many points is that worth? 16. 